slow cooker dinner today on Weekend at the Cottage. Slow cookers are a wonderful invention. They allow us to prepare something in the morning, go away, allowing the item to slow cook. We come home to a hot meal. This is one of those hot meals you're gonna to wanna to try. We're doing a slow cooker corned beef dinner. Into my slow cooker, one white onion cut into four, four carrots, they're peeled, ends are chopped away. One carrot for each guest, the recipe serves four. Three cloves of garlic, all of those ingredients go into the pot. I also have five small white potatoes for each guest, they go into the pot. The principal ingredient is corned beef. I have a three pound piece of corned beef. This is a salt brine piece of brisket. Uh, usually you salt brine it for about five days with pickling spices. We place the corned beef on top of the vegetables and then I'm gonna amp up the flavor a little bit. One tablespoon each. Cloves, whole coriander, black peppercorns, mustard seed. I bundled up some thyme. I add the sprigs of thyme into the pot. We also have a combination of three liquids, two cups each, beef stock, apple juice, and water. Last vegetable ingredient is Savoy cabbage. I placed it on top of the slow cooker. It was too high for me to put the lid on. I've taken it away and now I slice it into thinner slices. They go on top, almost like a dome covering. Add the lid on. We're on a low setting. We're cooking for seven hours. You walk away. When your slow cooker goes off, you'll be able to finish uh, the preparation of the meal. Take the lid off carefully. Taking tongs, we remove the Savoy cabbage to a bowl. Slotted spoon, take away the carrots, the potatoes. We're gonna discard the thyme, the onion, and the garlic, but with tongs, I take out this beautiful piece of corned beef, place it to the side. Let's prepare the vegetables then. We're gonna chop up the carrots and potatoes, little bit of butter, salt and pepper, a sprinkling of cilantro. Vegetables go into a side dish. Savoy cabbage displayed on a nice oval. Then we take our corned beef and look as you slice into it. It's very juicy, very tender. I'll then nestle the sliced corned beef up against the cabbage. A platter of corned beef and cabbage ready to go. We have a dish of our potatoes and carrots ready to go. And then when everything's served, it's on a beautiful plate like this. The only thing I'd probably suggest is a lovely condiment, a Dijon mustard. How about a horseradish? Both work really well with this recipe thing ultimately we most enjoy is the ease of preparation uh, and then when you go to try it the corned beef is so tender same with the vegetables i love the flavor of the cabbage mmm really lovely presentation plus it's a very simple meal if you're ever in a pinch for time all you have to do is prepare things in the morning come home to a hot prepared meal how wonderful is that Looking for other wonderful things, head to weekendatthecottage.com. Please remember to sign up for our newsletter. Look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. Subscribe, look for notifications, drop us some comments, give us the thumbs up, please. And finally, on your favorite social media feeds, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Here's to a slow cooker corned beef dinner. Hope you enjoy.